you know, it's crazy. They got us fighting over a wall, almost had us fighting about modern day lynchings around Black History Month, right? I mean, celebrity level agents artificially inflaming rhetoric by fabricating these scenarios with potentially dangerous or fatal outcomes. I mean, the consequences of these things, who knows, right? You're throwing fuel um, on the race fire, okay? But you have to understand that these agendas also transcend, you know, strictly political optics. The root of this stuff is buried in something much more deep, okay? Something much more nefarious, much more sinister, all right? And I know there's a stigma for listening to these kinds of uh, narratives, right? Listening to these kind of alternative narratives. But there's nothing wrong with being a better informed citizen. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. You know, don't let them create your arguments for you. Don't let them infiltrate and warp your perceptions. I think a lot of times that's what we see here. You shouldn't allow them to successfully get you to think a certain way. Uh, you shouldn't allow them to successfully infiltrate your perceptions about certain people and define a narrative for you. We're pushing their agendas forward by leaps and bounds when we don't scrutinize information and when we openly embrace uh, what they spoon feed us. You know, that's why when we see somebody wearing a MAGA hat, we just assume they're a certain type of person and we just ascribe all these characteristics to them in wholesale. I mean, how is that any different from, you know, I don't like this guy because he's black. Oh, I don't like this guy because he has a MAGA hat. It's very similar. I mean, can you imagine you're you're fighting against a slogan that says make America great again? Now, you may not believe that that's what it stands for and that may not uh, stand for that for you. But just imagine how it looks when you are approaching another individual and you're, you're counter to that, right? I mean, they got you. They, they got us. It, it, it's perfect. Uh, people say, well, they're not standing for making America great. They're making America this. And the other person's saying, no, we're doing this. Uh, they've got you. They've got us. I mean, it's, it's, it's the perfect storm. These are just a small examples of how they warp our perceptions, okay? And whenever you're exposing yourself to your media, your talk show host, you know, whatever your platform is that's tailored to your beliefs, if you're in your echo chambers and they're only covering certain things in a certain light, uh, you're going to have a certain perception. And that perception could be rigid when it comes to talking about any ideologies counter to yours. Again, it's about not being able to have amicable conversations with individuals we disagree with. We can't come together. The gentleman's deliberation, uh, a fading art. Again, the divide continues. And these divides are instigated and initiated by the powers that be. And people ask, well, who are the powers that be? Well, really, it's the powers who shouldn't be. Or who are these powers, right? Who are they, right? Well, I mean, the answer is simple. And by now, you've probably heard it already, right? To find out who rules over you, simply find out who you're not allowed to criticize. Now, misattributed quotes aside, it still rings true. You know, I know it's, it's difficult to convey this type of information because a lot of times this stuff can't be conveyed in one conversation. You can't articulate or express some of these more complex topics in just a few minutes, right? It, it takes a little bit of time and it takes effort. You know, one of the major goals of this channel is to trigger stimulating conversation, widen the angle of people's perspective, and of course, give truth to those who have the eyes to see and the ears to hear, most importantly. And again, like I was saying, uh, it's increasingly more difficult to have uh, amicable conversations because if you say uh, anything in the realm that seems like you're highlighting or praising some of Trump's actions, you're condemned by the NPCs, right? The non-player characters. If you say anything that remotely hints at whatever Donald Trump touches might not turn to gold, okay, you're condemned by the MAGAs. So you're not going to be able to make both the MAGAs and the NPCs happy there. You're going to have to understand that when you're disseminating this information or when you're talking to folks out there, there's there's just going to be some people who's just going to straight up ignore what you have to say, uh, regardless of, you know, facts or evidence. Those aren't people you want to talk to, okay? The people that you want to work on are the people that are going to consider that their position might not be the only position, okay? Or when they're willing to be, that they're willing to be incorrect. So really what I'm seeing is in the political world, you know, whatever Donald Trump touches turns to gold, uh, you can't criticize anything without looking like you're a liberal or, you know, you're just, you're part of the Trump hate bandwagon. So when Trump's in endorsing things like 5G or artificial intelligence and you're talking about some of the nefarious underpinnings, again, you're condemned by the MAGA because you're criticizing Trump. You know, forget the radiation, forget the health implications, forget that some of the standards that they use to determine whether this stuff is safe for us or not are inadequate. Forget all that. Just don't talk about Trump. No, like I've said it before, just like we saw with the tobacco conglomerates obfuscating health data when it comes to their products, we have the same thing happening with telecommunication companies, okay? Okay. 
using 5G, the 4G, you know, all this stuff. Absolutely. We're seeing the same thing with the telecommunications. We're talking about powerful corporations and businesses that have plenty of money to do lobbying and buying off politicians. And this isn't about, you know, trying to get you to believe anything. I'm just here to give you the tools so you can look into this stuff for yourself. So if you didn't know about this stuff before, uh, you can look into this information. You don't have to believe what I say. It's about giving you a, a toolkit again for you to look into this stuff for yourself so you, you can make your own decisions on it. But let's go ahead and start to rein this in. You know, thanks for being here. You, you could have been anywhere else. Uh, we're going to continue to grow this channel. Uh, I'm not perfect. I'm going to be wrong. And, and maybe I was off base uh, with some of this stuff. You know what I mean? It, it may not, you know, mesh with, with your belief system. But hey, we, we don't always agree on everything. The point is, there's no reason to sit on top of this information and not share it in some way that could make an impact in somebody else's life. As long as we're in some way helping other individuals to make more informed decisions and winning souls for Christ, uh, we're on the right track. We're on the right trajectory. Sometimes people just need a little extra push. Uh, little information to push them in the right direction not to force them to believe anything but j just to give them the information so they can make decisions on their own once you start to scratch the surface you start to realize some of this these sinister underpinnings that are perpetuated by both our, our government and other agencies and, and that's nothing new but for other folks it is you know what i mean and, and some some people they need this to to spur that change and and start to approach this information and that's what we're here for like share subscribe i'm done rambling for today california carter signing off Oh,